I learned they had little concern for rebuilding black families. Ex-BLM leader says he quit after learning the ugly truth about the organization and claims they have little concern for rebuilding black families. Welcome to the Dumb Dumb News channel, dedicated to reviewing and discussing news stories from around the world. Help me trigger the YouTube algorithm by pressing the thumbs up button, subscribing to my channel, leaving a comment, and sharing with someone you think would like this content. Before I start the video, I have a few housekeeping items to address. One of my recent videos has hit over 5,000 views. That is the most view video for this channel, so thank you for that. Two, many people aren't subscribing to the channel. I understand that my opinions might not be the most popular at the moment, but I encourage you to stand with me and subscribe to the channel. Lastly, I do not censor any comments, YouTube does this automatically, even though I select the option to let all comments be posted. If your comment isn't up, I suggest you try changing some of the words on it so it is YouTube friendly. Thank you again for being a part of this channel's cause. Sources will be linked in the description so you can read the full details yourself. Let's watch this video before we discuss. I was born in Minneapolis in 1985. We called the North Side home at that time, 18th and Queen. When I was two years old, my father was shot and killed. My mother wasn't able to take care of me, so I was raised by my grandparents. They told me that if I was going to change my life for the better, education was the answer. So I worked hard in school. I got into Hamlin University and earned a college degree, first in my family. Then I went on to earn a master's in education from St. Mary's University of Minnesota. I am living proof that no matter your start in life, quality education is a pathway to success. I want the same success for our children in our community. That's why in 2015, I was a founder of Black Lives Matter in St. Paul. I believe the organization stood for exactly what the name implies. Black lives do matter. However, after a year on the inside, I learned they had little concern for rebuilding black families, and they cared even less about improving the quality of education for students in Minneapolis. That was made clear when they publicly denounced charter schools alongside the teachers' union. I was an insider in Black Lives Matter, and I learned the ugly truth. The moratorium on charter schools does not support rebuilding the black family, but it does create barriers to a better education for black children. I resigned from Black Lives Matter after a year and a half, but I didn't quit working to improve black lives and access to a great education. Today, I serve as the president and executive director of Minnesota Parent Union. We're dedicated to helping parents move their children from failing schools to successful schools. It's hard work, and we're up against forces that don't want us to succeed. But success is possible. Just look at me and the hundreds of children and families we've helped to pursue a great education, break the chains of poverty, and lead a life of success. In my opinion, it is easy to have a catch-all phrase that everyone can stand behind. The hard part is taking the time to actually understand the organization behind the phrase, understanding what they stand for and better yet, what they are actually doing with their resources. I once heard that if you want to know what something is about, then watch what they do. In my opinion, I've seen protests, riots, loss of life, and recently one of the founders purchased over $3 million in real estate in predominantly white neighborhoods for her and her family. I did a video about that and suggest you watch it. I assume that any good this organization was doing would be all over the media to promote the cause, and I don't see it. I grew up learning to take responsibility for my actions and my own betterment. That means being able to make a judgment based on what you learn. It is good to hear Rashad Turner speaking out and working to improve his community. I suggest everyone teach others to make the best life they can for themselves, and if possible give back to the community. Those are my thoughts, what are yours? Leave them in the comments below, please share this video for education and awareness, for the Dumb Dumb News channel, I'm Dumb Dumb.